There are countless productivity gurus online teaching you how to study for eight hours continuously without a break, without getting tired. Can normal human beings do that? Of course not. Humans aren't meant to focus for long periods of time. Studying smarter matters more than studying harder. Breaking your learning task into shorter sessions is way more effective than studying for several hours in one go. How long can we concentrate at a time? Our brain can only focus for 90 minutes before we need a 20 minute break. Why? Because there's a cycle called the ultradian rhythm that regulates our brain activity. It's present in our sleeping and waking lives. What if you work against the cycle? Research shows that compared with people who take a break, people who try to focus all the time make more mistakes overall. I sit 12 hours without a break each day. I must do great on exam. If you want to get the best performance out of your study, work with the cycle. According to Todd Handy, a psychology professor at the University of British Columbia, the literature has shown that a brain is more effective at absorbing and retaining information if you have multiple shorter study sessions than if you cram everything in all at once. Focus for one and a half hours, take a 20 minute break, and repeat this pattern. This schedule has been used by elite performers, including top musicians, athletes, and chess players. Psychologist Anders Ericsson found that practice in intervals of 90 minutes or less worked the best for maximizing productivity, and these people rarely worked more than four and a half hours in a day. If you have a shorter attention span, study for less than one hour at a time. Data shows that the most productive people work for 52 minutes at a time, then break for 17 minutes, and then work again. What do they do during a break? Go for a walk, meditate, work out, or talk to people. You may also use the Pomodoro Technique, a popular time management system. How does it work? It helps you divide your task into 25-minute chunks, separated by 5-minute breaks. These chunks are called Pomodoros. After 4 Pomodoros, you take a longer break of about 15 to 20 minutes. It's actually my favorite. After I wake up and have breakfast every morning, I write down what I'm gonna work on for the day and use the Pomodoro technique. All I need is just a timer. Whenever I start reading a book, writing a script, editing a video, or preparing a lesson, I set a timer to 25 minutes. When the timer goes off, I take a break, drink water, move around, stand on the balcony, or meditate. It helps me avoid distractions and stay refreshed throughout the day. I just can't sit at a table for three or four hours without feeling exhausted. But with shorter sessions, I don't experience any burnout and I get more things done. Our society tends to dismiss a break as laziness. Come on, we are not machines, but living organisms. We have to work with the natural rhythm. Taking a break from studying refreshes your brain and helps you learn more effectively. Thanks for watching. I'm Xiaoming Bao. See you next time.